Hello everyone, my name is Andre Augustin and my major is computer science. My name is Daniel Ramos Mejia and I am a biomedical engineer major and a rising junior at San Jose State University. My name is Ty Baker. I am a sophomore at Foothill. I'm a computer science major. My name is Dara Robles and I am a pre-nursing major. My name is Skylar and I am a physics and biology major. I first heard about this internship actually through a professor at Foothill. My math teacher who sent out an announcement stating that the uh, LI program was looking for students, particularly in STEM. Who are members of marginalized or underserved communities. I just thought that it's a very, very good opportunity that can really pump up your uh, transcripts, and, like your transfer applications and stuff. and increase the possibilities that you get into the university that you like. I'm also the first in my immediate family to go to college. It was the first time I'd been offered an opportunity like that to do such a thing as an internship, but something told me to just apply. After initially reaching out, Marissa reached out to me and she heard a bit more about my story. I have cerebral palsy and she listened to my story, the journey from failing out of college to 10 years without having gone to college to coming back and giving it another go. And she said, SLI is for you and we are looking for people like you. And no one else had told me that to this point in my college career. And just having having that in my mind, just thinking that overall this will be a great experience because, you know, not too many people can say, hey, I worked at a startup. Now it's me, college. So. I've always struggled with being a Latino in STEM. You know, I've always felt like I never had any similar backgrounds with anyone. I've always felt like I was the odd man out. I really struggled with uh, making connections, and that's something that really messed with my confidence for a very long time because it made me think that I, I didn't belong in this field. I feel like with this internship program, it was my chance to really change that narrative and to really start putting into life that I, I'm, I'm not the ideal STEM student that I can and will achieve great things. Especially for students like me who don't really necessarily have the financial support through school, you know, or through our careers in life. Connections are kind of like what we rely on and it's hard to build those sometimes. I am a father of two. I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old. I am married. I work full-time and I go to school full-time. I am familiar with the rigors and the demands of, of school and of balancing it all with life. I am equally familiar with how difficult it is for people of color to break into STEM fields. I highly encourage you to, to do these internships because you know, I was that kid who really thought I didn't have a chance to get into one of these programs and now I did get it and it changed my life. I feel like I've grown confidence in myself as an independent scientist, a researcher, a lab mate. If you are thinking about it, do it. If you think that, that, that you're not the type of student who might get an internship, apply anyway. It's, it's really amazing. So yeah, if you are thinking of applying for an internship, I would say definitely go for it. I think that the biggest thing that I got from my internship was confidence in my own aptitude. I've gotten several offers for internships. None of these are possible without first having done the internship through the Science Learning Institute. I went from a student with imposter syndrome to someone that's so confident in himself that I've had this summer internship at Stanford and now I was able to uh, obtain another research assistant position at San Jose State doing what I was doing at Stanford or something similar. If you feel like you aren't ready, trust me, ready. Don't, don't let the doubt, don't let you know, what we call the impos imposter syndrome to, you know, take over you. You can do it. Take a deep breath. You got it. If I can do it, man, you can. Don't don't sell less and uh, shoot for the stars.